church say amen. amen. It's time to go to the altar and pray. Sin causes death. Yes. Sin, Lord, causes 
heartaches and pain. We pray for the forgiveness from east to west to north to south. Have mercy upon us in this country. We need you, Lord. We need your mercy. For hearing our prayer for the new family. Thank you for bringing the young lady out of her perfect condition. Oh, 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 oh. We want to thank you tonight. You saved our souls. You died on Calvary. So you rose on the third day. We thank you tonight. The power of God is darkness is in your heart of this night. Now, when this life journey comes to an end, people like others will quit this walk in life. No more tears, no more sorrow. Every day will be Sunday. The day will be Jesus. No more No more trouble. Just leave the place in your kingdom, Lord. Yes, yes. You'll be so careful to give you the praise. Yes, yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray this prayer. Amen. Amen. Oh, by and by, I pray. Yes, 
sanitize everything. Amen. Don't forget. Yes. But at the same time, praise God. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 Yes.
This man of God who rained, bring down fire, yes. running in fear for his life.
Elijah, what are you doing here? The Lord asks us questions when we get out of character and we get off the main line and when we get fearful and we run, try to run away and, and run away from our challenges. He asks you, when you get to where you're going, why are you partying over here? Right. You don't have to be physically running. You can be mentally running, right. trying to escape. And the word of the Lord will come to you, fear not. Why? The question tonight, why are you here? Why are you here in your thoughts when I have brought you from a mighty long way? I have answered your prayer. I have fed you. I have kept you. And now you're thinking crazy. Right. Why are you here? Why? We find failure sometimes in our weaknesses, but not defeat. Mm -hmm. When God is in your life, mm -hmm. He will stir you back on challenge. He came, he came through. Uh, Elijah went to the uh, entrance of the cave. And there was an earthquake. First it was great wind, it cracked the mountains and so forth. Earthquake came and fire came. And then there was a still small voice when he covered his face. Children, you got to be careful when you're talking with people. The Lord didn't come to Elijah. Now you know better than that. Right. You should have done that. The Lord wasn't in that fire. Right. The Lord wasn't in the earthquake. Yeah. The Lord wasn't in the wind. But he had a soft voice. Elijah, yeah. yeah. why are you here? Yeah. Who are we to rise up and tell somebody how bad they are? All right. Yourself in their place. All right. And restore them in the meekness. Somebody have read Galatians 6 7. The Lord restored. You don't hear what I'm saying. The Lord restored Elijah. In gentleness. I'm going to tell you what to do, Elijah. He covered his face. When God speaks, the heart melts. Yes. It's not all of that pride. Yes. When you are listening to him, yes. it melts all of that arrogancy. Yes. When you listen to him, yes. then you feel good. Yes. Then the Lord can give you instructions. Yes. Yes. Elijah thought his had come, yes. but God didn't answer him when he said, take me out of the world, wow. because he had another assignment for him. Yes. See, when you think everything is all gone, and wow. we pray and ask God to touch and move this pandemic, but God got a better plan. Yes. Yes. We want it done right now, but God got a better plan. People in our lives, uh, Je the Jezebels, we pray that the Lord will move the Jezebels, mm -hmm. but God got a better plan. Right. Oh, right. Go down there, Elijah, and anoint Jehu yes. to be king over Israel. Yes. God got a better plan. Yes. And Jehu, you know the story how he he took down Ahab and he took down uh, Jezebel, wow. stumped her up and so God got a better plan. Yeah. Don't you try to work it out. 
Don't you try to get rid of the death of hell. Don't you try to get rid of You let God work it out. And then Elijah, the anoint Elisha to help you and take your place when you all the same. Church, during this time, you're going to have disappointments. You're going to have highs and lows. But God got a better plan. Don't go into your cave to hide. Stay right there and say, Lord, speak. I know the challenge is great, but you have a way out of nowhere to take you through. God always makes an escape for you. Amen. When you got Jesus in your life, when you got him, uh, as your protector. Yes. Uh, you have nothing to worry about. Amen. He's your good shepherd. Yes. A good shepherd takes care of the sheep. Yes. He's the bread of life. Yes. He is the living water. Yes. In other words, he keeps you all around right. when you depend on him. Yeah. I'm closing now. Yes, this pastor has had depressed moments. Yes, I've gone and said I wish this was that and that. But God had a way to restore me. He allowed the late Dr. Carl Anderson to come in my dreams. And sometimes, like this morning, I went, I woke up smiling with humor in my heart. God knows his man. And then he gives him a better assignment. He restores my energy. He restores my, uh, my mind. He restores my attitude to run on for him. I could have made it this far if it wasn't for him. Amen. You know the story of what I'm going through. Some of you. But God restores you. Yeah. And he'll restore you. God has left you. No. Oh, yes. God got plans for your life. Amen. But you got to trust Jesus. Amen. Through the thick and through the thin. Yes. You got to trust him. Yes. Until we meet again, God bless you. Let us all stand.